Alright, so guys, the Bunkai livestream is over, and I accidentally missed out on it because I thought it was going to be a lot later, but it turned out to be an hour earlier, so I kind of missed out on it, and uh, <laughs> I, I seriously thought that it was going to be like an hour later, but, well, if I missed out on it, I missed out on it, but either way, I'm kind of glad I did because... Either way, just uh, having to wait until the last few minutes is always painful for when when it comes to watching a buying Kyle live stream, so I'm kind of happy about that. So anyways, let's go ahead and look into the news. OG Byakuya and OG Sajin are going to be getting their resurrection. Both of these characters already have Frenzy, so with those stats boost, they're going to be even better and a bit more useful for PvE in general. Not the co-op ones, but the, the standard base PvE... Uh, quests, they're obviously already going to be good, but I've got one fucking complaint. Why only two characters? Seriously, why only two? Come on. You could have fit in OG Retsu. You could have fit in... Hold on, let me... Seriously, though, they could have fit in characters like OG Retsu, OG Yama, OG Uryu, but no. Only two characters? Come on, K-Lab. Step up your game so that way we can get to the newer characters and have them resurrected and be good and stuff. I, wa I want to see my Don guy, who I still do not have, being resurrected. And even OG Hogyoku Aizen. But anyways, um, this will be, um, most likely, it's planned for October, but I don't know if it's as a, an end of the month. But I think it is. But either way, we're going to get a new uh, Shikai Ichigo. New Uryu and new Chad. Seriously, for whoever thought that we were getting, uh, we were not getting full bringers, fuck you guys, for real. Because I already argued with uh, an asshole, with a, with some assholes on YouTube, how, oh, we're gonna get manga, eh? we're gonna get more shit, I mean, I mean, come the fuck on, manga is already over. But, it was a possibility. And then, um, the light, no, I feel like, uh, this game is going to get, uh, characters from the light novels I don't know because uh, it wasn't exactly clearly explained but however what kind of is surprising is that espadas that will be um, that that will be hand-drawn by Taite Kubo will get new transformations so like Ulkyora how he got his new transformation as a third anniversary celebration we're going to see the rest of the Espadas get their new transformation. So, and we're talking about Grimjow, Noitora, Stark, Halibel, Baragon, Aroniero, Zalapro. All those really good um, Espadas that are already in the game. They're basically going to be getting new forms for um, starting now. 2019 looks like it will be a lit year for Bleach. But to be honest, I'm not going to lie. The new resurrections for the Espadas... I only care about a few of them. But my question is, will we get another new Okiora? Because I feel like we will get another one. And just because of the sheer fact that, of course, you can't... You're, you're gonna bring out a new Espadas, right? Well, you can't leave out Okiora, but I don't know. We did get a third anniversary a character, but it was mainly for third anniversary. And who the fuck reacted? Uh, oh well. And, uh... Really, does that mean that we'll see a third anniversary Ulkyota often in fillers, or will we get a new one? Because that's my my only question, because I only care mostly seeing the new Halibel, Grimjow, and Noitora, and even Stark. But other than that, I don't care too much about it. But I guess this will be the year 2019 for Bleach, new Espadas. So, yeah, let's see what's what's going to happen. It looks like all the Espadas will get the fucking Hogyoku and, and ascend to a new form. Alright, that's it. I'll see you guys next in the next video, which I'll have, be having up in a couple of hours. So yeah, peace out.